All right, let's do it. Yes, my friend. What made you decide? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 I'm <laughs> no beard is gone. I'm changing it up. I'm Just changing like that. Up. How do you feel about this, Lydia? I'm alive, innit? I'm screaming. You're going to be so <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm Hello, and welcome to the Two My Sisters podcast. I'm Renee. I'm Courtney. I'm Lydia. And we are your online big sisters and hosts of today's episode of the Two My Sisters podcast. We are all about promoting the wellness, growth and development of a community of sisters across the world. And in today's conversation, we are talking to the Lydia Dinger, your content creator mm -hmm. and influencer. Oh. And we are here to talk about the real behind social media, as well as how to be a real model and not just a role model and unpacking the boss babe. So... <laughs> I'm so I, I'm so giddy with joy, guys. Honestly. If you could see Courtney right now, she is grinning like. Life comes at you so fast. How did I look so cute yesterday? And this is how we started today. Ooh, it's most unfortunate. <laughs> Let me see if my sleeping cream can fix that because uh, I'm gonna just moisturize. I know it's meant to be an overnight sleeping cream, but whether it's overnight, where is the morning? I need to look cute. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I am feeling good. Despite the fact that I look a bit crusty and dry, I feel good. I'm on my way to the high street to do a quick last minute preparation for a shoot. I need to update you guys on how yesterday went. Oh, the podcast went so, so, so well. I left feeling like, I think you guys will like the episode. I hope so. I hope the, the episode translates as well as I wanted it to because the thing about me is that I, I will never stay on topic. <laughs> I will never stay on topic. So I don't even know if I managed to stay on track. I definitely gave insights on what it's like from my personal experience. Um, spoke a lot from like a really honest part, like a genuinely honest part of my heart. And I guess that's just me. I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest. That's one thing I'm going to do for real. So I just hope that it translates, translates well. I don't even remember the half the things that I said right now because I was just speaking from the heart. Um, yeah. And it's going to come out and I'm just, oh, and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen that I was advertising that it's out already by the time that you watch this, okay? I think every so often it's good to do something that scares you a little bit. Kick a little bit of fear, you know? That is what literally yesterday was for me, but I hope that it just translates well. I I don't know, I hope that some, I hope you all get it. Like sometimes you be saying stuff and then people will be taking it and twisting it and turning it into literally what it's not meant to be. So I just hope that doesn't happen. But for now, British Airways and Now TV are waiting for my content to be delivered and <sighs> let's go. Did you say an alcoholic beverage? Yeah. Because I am absolutely down. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with Doc. The plan is that we've got £10 maximum budget to spend for the two campaigns. I just need to make stuff, I need to get stuff to make it look Christmassy and that's pretty much it. I need to find it iffy. Doc, I have my standing appointment with her tomorrow because I need help. I have been looking a hot damn mess. This is perfect. And then I want to get some baubles. Doc, what else do you think? Some, maybe some tinsel? So this is everything that I got from the pound shop. Literally, well within my budget of 10 pounds, you can count 10 items here to include the batteries <laughs> for this. And the plan this time, oh, I forgot to show you. I was gifted these. Unfortunately, they forgot the prices, but it's okay, girl, we see you. I was gifted these beautiful flowers yesterday um, by Renee and Courtney, thank you so much. And then they also get gave me this this is already halfway down so yeah about there i should really be shooting the ba campaign first before the now tv campaign but i haven't even got an idea of what i want to shoot for ba just yet <laughs> or rather a lie i do have an idea but i don't like the idea so i want to i want to shoot the first one warm up and then see if i want to change it makeup no makeup this time around i just it's gonna be cute. My PJs are so, so cute. They're not Volvelux, but they are, they were gifted to me from H. Samuels. 
Um, they're a little bit big. I got a size 12. It's a little bit big. A little bit big? A little bit big? It's a lot bit big. I didn't realize that I had lost so much weight. I am normally a 12, but I guess not anymore. I guess I'm a 10 now. Oh, look at this! Perfect! Oh my god! Yes! More to the right, please, boo. Good morning guys morning happy monday is 8 29 i'm already running nine minutes late on this monday we're off for a standing appointment with iffy i have a standing appointment or well, hairdresser appointment with iffy every single monday it's normally at 10 o'clock but this time around i asked for it to be early for nine because your girl has got plenty of work to do this week you hear me listening to the my sisters podcast if you guys haven't listened to my episode that i featured in i'm gonna leave it in the description box the route to iffy's house it's just a 20 mile an hour zone through and through i could crawl to her house oh guys it is cold can you see it's mad foggy outside too i got my two babies with me i got two wigs i gotta pay for my parking though remind me when we get into iffy's place Oh, it is cold in these streets. What do you think about online dating? Um, it's not for me. <laughs> I point blank period. Have you tried it? I've tried it and I was on Hinge for less than a month. Yeah. And that was because of the first lockdown. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. And my but first ever mm -hmm. single period yeah. in a whole eight years and yeah. I'm 26. So that's, that's a lot of my life. And how did you find it? Uh, traumatic. <laughs> Ghetto! Because um, I love love. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, no, it, it, for me, it, it's just not for me. Maybe for other people. I would say, do you think it's possible to find love on... I think it's possible. To on love. online? I think it is. I mean, what, Instagram is basically... Um, uh, yeah, this can be dating sites too. A kind of dating site. And I feel like if you meet someone via someone else, mm -hmm. you, need, you know something about them, and you know they have to be trustworthy some, some, somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Because if it's a friend of a friend, that person wouldn't be their friend if they were completely mad. And it's some recommendation, yeah. Some recommendation, yeah. Whereas you're intentionally going on this site to meet like-minded people that I'm assuming are after the same thing. Yeah. It's not. It's not the case. It's not the case because not everyone's on Hinge to to find love. No. Or not everyone's on Tinder to find love either. They might be there for some different reasons. Part, partly it was boredom because of the first <laughs> lockdown. I can't lie. <laughs> but I will not entertain and take it further where I see you outside of that. Yeah. If I didn't like you. Okay, she's slayed, she's laid. Back to my car, please don't let there be a ticket. Oh, we got away with it yet again. My parking ran out like 20 minutes ago and I was just praying for Baba God. The whole point of me having this standing appointment with Ify is actually to help aid my productivity. Um, as an entrepreneur, I think it's important for you to always put things in place which will allow you to be the best version of you. So for me, I struggle, yeah, with doing my hair and every single week I've got campaigns to shoot, right? Um, well, especially this week, I've got lots of campaigns to shoot. So my hair is not going to be the reason why i don't shoot stuff and even with that i was saying in the podcast if you guys heard just because you see me getting my hair done every monday doesn't mean that you should feel like you need to get your hair done every single monday because this is work for me at the end of the day like let's look at it that way anyway oh i'm getting that at 11 30. okay i'm gonna get back home at 11 30 so gotta dash see you soon i'm hungry oh god i'm hungry but now that i'm back i need to run a few errands before i can even go upstairs i need to go and get some new bed sheets and a new set of pajamas because i'm shooting a campaign for ba the one that i didn't shoot last week in the end of last week's vlog this is just carrying on to the next week because it's now monday um yeah i need to go and get some christmasy clothes and bed sheets because i'm going to be shooting it in the spare room it would be so much easier for me to go to like primark 
and get this. Should I go to Primark? What time is it? Why are you always getting me crusty? Hey, girl. Hey. You know I see you, right? Yeah. You're like, you're right there. Can't stop right in front of you. Oh. I'm in the car. <laughs> no, I'm in the car. Dots just pulled up behind me, so this is even better. I think we're gonna go to Primark because I need someone to help me find parking. <gasps> hey, girl! Now we are here. I'm looking for sheets. Don't, don't forget our bag. I'm looking for those Christmas sheets. Something like this. You see these, Dot? Mm -hmm. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm gonna show you guys around some bits of my favorite bits in Primark. Oh my god, it's so nice. These sheets, right? Like oh, this pillow. Like the pillow. Yeah, these sheets are cute though. These sheets are cute. This is very Christmassy. Need them in a double. Everything else. Double, double. I feel like Primark Home is one of my favorite sections to come to. They always have some really pretty things. And I even, when I was looking around the jewelry, I picked up some bits that I'm gonna show you. Candles. Um, the thing about their candles is that they don't really smell for long. This is nice. This looks really? cute. How does it smell? Nice, nice. It's a nice little presentation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's real cute. If you hate wearing bras, these are the best kind of bras to get. These are so, so comfy and they're only, like I think it's five pounds last time I, oh, 10. They're only 10 pounds. And look, they've got the gray, got the red, got the nude, well, white people nude. And then they've got these ones. These are the only bras that I wear because I can't, I can't do normal bras. Mm, look at these slips. This is nice. This is sexy. I like that. Seven pounds. We've got this in Primark. This is very much my vibe. Oversized tee with the writing on it. This is 12 pounds. This one too. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I love the color. And it's fleecy inside. Do you think I should get him um, this, this, this as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So bits that I've picked up from Primark are got myself a wallet, snoods for when we're doing our walks, got this for the shoot, some face marks that we're currently wearing, some gloves for Bay, two hats Cash for Bay because he really loves these but he never knows where to get them from, some earrings, these are so pretty, look at these, Ooh, my kilo is gonna grow, up. My kilo is gonna grow. <laughs> and then these, I had to get these too, come on, how am I doing a haul at the tail? <laughs> and then some grey shorts to go with this top which is what I'm shooting for the campaign and some sheets that's pretty much it I need some hand gel too for the car I can't lie I wonder how much is this going to be? 30 67 pounds how did that happen? damn how did that happen? I like 30 that's what Primark does you come to Primark you're like I'm going to spend 20 pounds and it's like 67 pounds 30. I literally have no idea what I bought because it's seven pounds 30. This is scary. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying out. Good morning, first of all. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I look gray, right? Am I alive or not? Because I'm trying out the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Coco Deep and it's got me looking all types of mortuary. This is unacceptable. I don't know if it's got anything to do with my, <laughs> with my, um, with this. This is the new Becca um, First Light Primer, because this makes me look grey too. And underneath, I don't know if this is what it is that's coming through into the foundation, or if it's a foundation by itself. But mortuary vibes are heavy, and I'm meant to be shooting pictures today, so we're gonna have to start again. <laughs> This is horrible. Looking a little bit less crazy now. I think I still look grey. I can still feel the grey underneath. Like, I don't know about you guys. What does it look like? I don't know. Either way, I gotta work. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter what's going on. This is what I'm gonna be wearing. to all London and I'm wearing flip-flops because I'm getting my toes done so 
gotta go let's go to the nail salon thank you so much doc, for all the help you have been of great help guys i have got here oh my god i'm 20 minutes late this is so bad this is so bad <sighs> and i'm gonna go in my flip-flops because i'm getting my toes done but i don't even know if i can get my toes done now at this point to be honest seeing as i'm so late quick spray and then we go oh god i feel so bad i need a body double thank you guys i got here how old how long is that 20 minutes it's not good it's not good i'm so sorry that's okay get it right thank you so 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 much look at these and i got my nails my toes matching as well so i'm feeling super grown like an adult i'm gonna get my stuff and go home yeah. you need a bag <laughs> I, I, think, you know, I hate carrying bags this, this I hate, and this as well too i hate handbags good afternoon guys it is 1 15 on wednesday and you've got a working lydia Look at my cute nails. Look at how cute. An email just came in. Oh, that looks interesting. That looks very interesting. Anyway, today I'm just sitting here doing work. I've got so much work to do, so much editing to catch up on and trying to keep to a schedule and all of that good stuff. You know, it's not be easy. It is so, so cold. Look at the temperature I've put the heating on. I put the heating on 32 degrees because <laughs> I need heat. It's so cold in London. And one thing about us, people who live in the UK, we will always give you a free weather update. We'll be giving out weather updates all the time, but it is so cold right now. I had to do that. I had to do it. 32 degrees, let it run. Let the bill run up. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm just doing a lot of editing. To be honest, the one thing that I'm avoiding doing is the one thing that I've been repeating all this week, saying that I need to go and look at sofa showrooms. Oh my God. I'm avoiding it with good reason. Sofas are so expensive. Sofas take so long to deliver. Sofas mostly are non-refundable. So it's like, it's a decision that requires thinking and I'm just not in the headspace to think. Does that even make sense? Have you ever been in a space where you can't be bothered to do the thing that you're meant to be doing? Like that's literally how I feel, despite the fact that it's a very pressing thing. I just can't be bothered. I really can't because it's too much responsibility and right now I'm really not in the headspace responsibility i want pizza like <laughs> that's, that's where i'm at after some hours of work i had my midday meeting with doc to which she informed me that my trip to st lucia was back on the cards i was actually meant to be in st lucia on the 23rd of november to the 28th of november but ba cancelled my flight last minute because of the panoramic <laughs> <laughs> because of the pandemic that we're in my flight was actually cancelled and so this is the date that i literally found out in that meeting that everything was back on and i was going to be going to st lucia in 10 days time how last minute but this is pretty much my reaction <laughs> oh girl so my assistant just rang me with some good news we're gonna end the vlog right here with the great news doc what's the good going to st lucia <laughs> I'm going to St. Lucia, going to St. Lucia. When you see this video, I'm in St. Lucia right now. Because I'm going next week. <laughs> I'm going to St. Lucia in 10 days. Am I ready? No, my nails are. My feet are. My lashes gonna be. I'm going to St. Lucia, I'm so happy. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, Doc, sorry for the rest of the meeting. I'm, I'm, I'm calm, sorry. <laughs>